Hey y'all, we're back. We are going to talk today about Grammar Galaxy. Raylan says, hey. Um, Grammar Galaxy is Adventures in Literature Arts. And I do not work for this company. I don't work for any of the companies that I have reviewed or I'm going to review. It's just my personal opinions, my reviews on them to help anybody getting started or looking through curriculum. Um, that just kind of is trying to figure out what they want to use. So, <clears throat> my son is a struggling reader. He was not a fan of sitting through any literature-based stuff anymore. And so, I needed to find a way to make reading enjoyable for him. Um, and get him to still continue to learn. To um, push forward in his other subjects of learning. Um, Raylan, shh, mommy's trying to talk. Um to get him to continue to learn and enjoy learning about um, his grammar side of things while we put a little hold on his reading until we figured out where that was going. So anyways, um, at, despite his struggles, <clears throat> this program has really, really helped him stay connected with books. Um, this is published by Melanie Wilson. She is the author of it. It's illustrated by Rebecca Mueller. Um, Melanie is a psycho psychologist. She has a PhD. She's a mother of six who is also a homeschooling mom and just wanted to have a curriculum that was more fun. Tell them that I got new homeschool stuff. Okay. She, not right now, right? That is a mother of six. She is also a homeschool mom, and she wanted to make schooling funner for her children. Okay? She is a public speaker. She has created four volumes in this. Those four volumes are Nebula, Proto Star, Yellow Star, and Red Star. You can get them in digital, or you can get them in print. Um, you can go on her website and you can do like a little, you can fill out this thing or read it. Um, I don't remember exactly how it went when we did it, but you can do this thing to determine what your guardian's level is to see what volume they should start in. Um, however, the Nebula, vol Nebula volume states that you can do it between, um, it's like fit for ages first through sixth grade. So if you have multiple children, like it works great with them. And she is strong in believing, like, not to dumb down your children with their um, vocabulary to use stuff that is more advanced because um, it just, it helps broaden their vocabulary. It helps broaden their knowledge. And I completely, completely stand behind her 100% in that because since using this program, my son's scores and his tests this summer were phenomenal. He just finished second grade. And despite having his reading um, delays his um, comprehension and his um, Raylan, his comprehension and things like that are phenomenal. So he finished finished first grade, or I'm sorry, second grade, excuse me. But he tested into third grade with his um, vocabulary and some of his like reading things like his skills, and into fifth grade with his reading comprehension. So that to me is phenomenal. Um, to to be at those levels with him being a struggling reader and one that at the beginning of the year could not stand books. So he at times still does not like to read and I try my hardest, you know, not to, to push them on him, but he will still grab a book from the bookshelf over here every now and then and ask me to read to him. And he does not put up a fight when it comes to his grammar because he does not feel like he's doing school. He feels like he is reading and playing with highlighters. And actually, he is learning. And to me, I have Melanie to thank for that. So thank you, Melanie, if you ever see this. But, um, so yes, so to me, I'm biased about this because it has helped my family so much. But I honestly feel that if you want a curriculum for multiple children, this is for you. I feel like it could work with any learning style because it is, um, you could have your kids color while you read. You could have your kids sit still while you read. You could have your kids um, do anything while you read because it's it's like reading to any child. Um, the story's in here. And then when you're done, they just have to do a very, very, very few questions. She does not have a lot for them to answer to make sure they're maintaining it um, with highlighter. I mean, it's very, very short. 
It's very, very rare that she has you do handwriting in here. In fact, she suggests that you do your own phonics and your own handwriting, um, that this is, is strictly for your grammar, but there is some handwriting in here. But um, in this, if your child is, there's there's like three or four questions after each chapter that she'll ask you. See, so there's that verbal part in there too for children that are more verbal to tell you what they're they're hearing and to make sure that they're getting that reading comprehension in there and that they're they're hearing it. And then she also has that mastery skill in there because once you your child has mastered it for that part, she will go into other kinds of lessons and then she comes back to them in, in her questions as she goes. So I really, really, really love how this program is set up for you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the books that I have because you can get it in print or digital. I chose to get print because they are very affordable in my opinion. Um, but you check that out for yourself. And then I also printed out the um, sample that she has online for the book that we have to kind of read a little bit of one of the chapters for you versus picking one of my own just to make it, um, I just wanted to, to only read what she has available as her sample instead of, you know, I don't, I don't want to go into any, I don't want to break any of her rules. So. She does have a Facebook page, and I can say that most of the curriculum that I have purchased, there is Facebook pages available. However, the difference that I love is when I have had questions about curriculum and I go onto Facebook pages, there are other moms answering my questions, which there's absolutely no problem with. I have got the answers I need it, and it has been successful and helpful. One of the amazing things I like about hers is I had to ask a question one time because her stuff has been very, very simple and I've only had one question. Um, she was the one that answered my question. She was, she's so, so active in there. And I'm sure there might be times that she won't answer if she's busy because she, I'm, she's busy mom. She has six kids. But she was the one that answered my question and she answered it within like a 30 minute span and it was not, I don't even think it was 30 minutes. Um, and she was so sweet about how she answered it, and she she told me, you know, if there's ever any recommendations that you have for my <laughs> curriculum, I'm always open to hear about it um, and improve it because I want my curriculum to be used for every child and for every family, and I want it to be beneficial for everyone. And I loved seeing that she really genuinely cared and that she um, was – I've reached out to people with curriculum before, and I've gotten a thumbs up, and I've gotten, um, you know, just short, you know, things like responded back. But to have her communicate so quickly and so lovingly back like that, it just showed that she she genuinely cares. That, um, despite having all of her children that she's dealing with, she genuinely cares. Right the grace. No, ma'am. Keep it open. Now. Okay. Sorry, guys. She genuinely cares that to see every family successful. Okay? So, let's continue. So you get two books. One of your books you can use multiple times. So, let's say you have a fifth grader right now that's using it, and then you have an infant. So, your infant's not going to start it until they start first grade. So, your sixth grader is going to be way out of this book and curriculum by the time they start. You can reuse this by the time they get there because this one has no marks in it. All it is is your reading material that the teacher reads or your student reads if they're skilled enough to do so. Um, and it has your chapters in here and your little questions that you ask your children at the end of each chapter. And it's verbal questions just to get them verbally speaking back. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do like a quick flip. I am not going to hold the pages long enough to have everybody reading them because that's what I'm going to use the sample for. Um, but this is volume one. See how pretty and colorful and fun and inviting it is? So I have my son keep this in his desk and he pulls it out. However, you could totally put this in your morning basket. Like I said, it is a story that you could use for your whole family. And then you could just have them pull out their workbook from their area and do that. Each child could have their own workbook. Okay. So it's like a little chapter a day, and then there's your questions at the end. So this is literally your chapters, and it has vocabulary words in there. I don't know if I said this already, but the 
vocabulary is strong vocabulary words. It's going to smarten those vocabulary um, words up for your children. I mean, just in chapter five, you're using words like graciously and sequel. I mean, these are words, and then my, I hear my son using them, using them triumphantly. Like these are huge words that my children are picking up because of her. And this is first grade, and my three-year-old is listening to this as story time. So this is amazing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I guess you can consider this like your teacher manual, but there is no teacher manual because at the end of all of their um, questions, there are some answer keys. So you don't really have to have a teacher manual, which makes this even better for us. So I'm going to read um, the back of your book, which is really, really fun. Okay, it says wanted guardians of grammar galaxy, which are your children, guys. Okay, children who can read, write, and speak well have the best chances of succeeding in education and in life. But that doesn't mean language arts study has to be serious. These short, comical, and memorial memorable stories are so much fun your students won't even know they're learning as they help the royal english family save the galaxy from attacks of the evil gremlin they may have a new favorite subject elementary students who have begun to read and write are ready for the adventure of grammar galaxy nebula they will learn basic concepts in literature vocabulary spelling grammar composition and speaking it requires nebula mission manual so composition was when my son went into third grade, nine months in for his testing, and he just finished second grade, and vocabulary. And then his reading uh, comprehension was fifth grade. Okay, and then this is the book that your children worked out of, okay? So my daughter has got a hold of it and wrote in it a little bit. But there is very little writing in the very first week he had to do some um, because there was like a library assignment. Teaching them how to use the library, which is very useful. And a lot of kids don't get that nowadays unless you physically take them and do it. So this is where your highlighting begins. And that's how long one lesson is. So it's very... They get guardian mail at the end of each chapter to tell them what they're going to be doing. And then they have their little assignments. Like circle a letter or do highlighting. Okay, y'all. This is pretty, pretty awesome, right? So what I did was I went online and I printed out the sample <coughs> that she has available for the Nebula series and or volume one and you can print out the um, sample for any of her volumes, volumes one through four. And you can also take the placement test to see where your child falls. Um, and again, you can use this volume for first through sixth grade recommended, but you can see where your child falls. So you can teach it to multiple children. And I think that she had that in mind because she has six children, just to make it easier. So when you get your sample, it's going to look like this. Uh -uh. Stop, baby. It's going to have a note to the teachers in there. Okay. Um, can you put some of this? Uh, we'll do face mask later. Okay. Okay. Let me see. She does stay in here. <clears throat> This curriculum does not take place of phonics or handwriting, which I completely agree with because there's more uh, highlighting. And I was completely okay with that because my son <coughs> needed more, I'm sorry, I need water, needed more one-on-one um, -on -one, like phonics program. So this was more for us to help him gravitate to enjoy reading, which it did and to get those phonics skills in without realizing, or not phonics skills, uh, grammar skills in without realizing that he was getting them in. He does not realize he's doing school when he does this. This is what the beginning of a chapter will look like. This was chapter 25 that she gave us. I'm gonna read just a few paragraphs. I'm not gonna read the whole chapter because that's gonna take too long on here. Um, and this is what it looks like when you hit vocabulary words in here. So the vocabulary words that she chose for chapter 25 are complied, which means obey, 
He has. And I like to go over them before I read the chapter with my child and see if he can point them out when we hit them. Resume, which is continue, and vague, which is unclear. Okay. <clears throat> So, chapter 25. Luke spent the afternoon at the main library branch doing his school assignments. He planned to reward himself with some video game time when he was done, and he hoped he could talk Kirk into playing with him for a while. He was so excited that he was halfway home before he realized that he had left his communicator in the library. There were many signs in the library that reminded him to silence his communicator. So he had complied, vocabulary word, and had forgotten to put his back in his pocket. Sighing he, headed, sighing, he headed back to the library. He wasn't happy when he noticed that it wasn't where he had left it. Approaching the circulation desk, he, he said, excuse me, to the head librarian seated there. I just left my com communicator here. Would it be in the lost and found? The librarian said, ah, yes, someone just turned one in. Can you describe it for me? Sure, Luke said. It's, well, it's, you know, he stammered while trying to show her with his hands. Yes, what kind is it? The librarian encouraged him to continue. It's, um, Luke thought aloud. Okay, what color is it? Oh, that's easy. It's, it's, uh, I can't seem to describe it. It's just a communicator. Can you please have it? Can I please have it? He asked, getting frustrated. I see. Unfortunately, it is a library policy not to give out missing items without a matching description. You understand? We want to make sure that they are returned to the rightful owners. But I am the rightful owner, Luke cried. Okay, can you tell me how many buttons it has on the right? Sure. It has... It has, I can't say. Then I'm afraid I can't give it to you, the librarian said. Didn't you see me with it before, Luke asked desperately. I'm afraid not. I just got here. I'm sorry. So the story goes on about this. <clears throat> and I would continue to read it. However, it's, I don't want to, I don't want to give it all away. So I want you guys to, um, to get that sample and check out all of Melanie's stuff. But after you finish that story, you get an official guardian mail letter that looks like this. Because at the end of every chapter, you get mail from the children of the galaxy. So your children are the guardians, and then there's the children of the galaxy. So that was Luke that was having problems. This says Mission 25 to go with Mission, or the Chapter 25. So we are on Mission 25, which is your children's mission. So this, we just read, would have been out of your storybook. The mail, Mission 25, and Guardian mail would have been in their book, okay? And it's Mission 25, Adjectives. So they are learning about adjectives. So this story is going to help them put adjectives together. Okay? Dear Guardians, the adjectives on planet sentence have gotten lost. We are on our way to help them get back home, but we need your help to identify them. Luke hopes to get his communicator out of the libraries lost and found if we succeed. Thanks in advance. Sincerely, Kirk, Luke, and Ellen English, Guardians of Grammar Galaxy. Okay, so Kirk, Luke, and Ellen English are the children that live on planet, or uh, Kirk, Luke, and Ellen English are the English children that live in the galaxy. They call upon your children for missions to help fix problems Mommy. in the galaxy. Mommy. The problem they're having now. Can we have that, um, that something, um, candy that we In a little bit. Let mommy finish that this. That has the and the red circle. Let me finish this first, okay? And the white pop things, the 
Dip in there. Let mommy finish this, and if you're a good girl, we'll get it, okay? Okay. So, the problem they're having now is Luke can't get his communicator out. And the reason he can't get it out is because he's having trouble describing it. Okay? So, your child is going to have to learn about adjectives in order to help get the communicator out. So, he's on a mission. Okay? So, next, what happens at the end of the story, it says, what does vague mean? They get three questions that go with the story to make sure that they heard it. So, vague was one of the vocabulary words. And it's going to say, why couldn't Luke describe his communicator? Okay, so during that story, they found out why he couldn't describe it, and they're going to have to answer that. And it's going to say, what adjectives were used to describe the party in the party invitation? So at some point in there, they figured that out to you, and they're going to have to describe that to you. Then at the very end of the story, it also gave you the definition of an adjective. So before they got their guardian, guardian mail, they learned what an adjective was. And it says adjectives are words that describe nouns and answer the questions what kind, which one, and how many. They describe color, size, shape, number, appearance, speed, taste, touch, personality, and more. So the problem is that he can't get his communicator out because he cannot describe the noun, which is the communicator. So he, the problem that they're having is he, he can't describe it. He's having trouble with adjectives. So we, as guardians, have to learn about adjectives. And once we master that and, and can do adjectives and learn about adjectives, he'll get his communicator back. So we are on step one in the mission 25. And your child has to go through and answer these. Okay? And you have a little answer sheet here at the end of all their stuff, okay? So, step one, it says, which of the following words is a pronoun? Okay, it's going to ask you some things from past lessons, as well as some things from this lesson and this week's stuff, because it, it has to make sure that your child is mastering what they've learned up to 25, as well as what they're doing now. So, even though... You're learning about adjectives. We have to make sure that they're learning about everything that they've learned up until the adjective. So on guard and choose adjectives for pictures. Highlight the correct answer for each question. Number one, which of the following words is a pronoun? Ellen, Kirk, or me? And the correct answer that they would choose is me. Okay, and number two, which word is a correct plural? Plur plural. Okay, and the correct answer they would choose is socks, because it's sock, socks, or socks, with E-S or S, okay? So let me show that to you. Number two would be S or E-S. So they would choose S, okay? So they are also learning a little bit of spelling there. Which word is a proper noun? Ellen, sister, or her? The, the correct answer is Ellen. Which word is a noun? Fast, go, or car? And the answer is car. Which word is a correct compound word? Didn't, did not, or sunroom? And the correct word is sunroom. You're taking two words and you put it as one. All of those are things that they have learned up till this point. So she is reviewing them to make sure that they're mastering the skills that they have learned up until lesson 25. So you see how awesome the grammar skills are. They've learned about compound words. They have learned about nouns, proper nouns, uh, plural words, like adding the S, whether it should be E-S or S. They have learned about pronouns. Um, and then she has the vocabulary words at the bottom from this chapter. And they have to use all of those in a sentence. So you're going to read complied. What does complied mean? And if they remember, then they're going to tell you it means obeyed. If they didn't, then you're going to tell them, okay, it means obeyed. And they have to use it in a sentence for each of those three words, okay? Then you go on, and it has some pictures here, like this. 
and it says choose adjectives for pictures. For each picture, highlight the word that is an adjective that describes it. Hint, an adjective tells you which one, what kind, and how many is not an action. So she is now going back and reminding the child what is an adjective. Okay, so she's going to give you a picture. <clears throat> she's going to give the child a picture. <coughs> and then she's got two answers. And the child has to use the pretty little highlighter that erases and it's so cool because it's a, it's a guardian highlighter. It's fun, huh? And I've done that before. You have. And then they have to choose one of the two answers. So like the first one. They have this cool little rocket ship. And they have to choose. It's an adjective fast. Or shoots. And the answer is fast. Okay? Because they're describing it. Because rocket okay? ships go shoot. Remember, <coughs> it tells you which one, what kind, or yeah. how many. Okay? Wait a minute. The next one is this cute little rabbit. And we have to do, we have to choose. Is it soft or does it hop? And we're describing it. So it's soft. So then we have this little baby. Is it small or smile? What is the adjective? And the child will choose small. And then you have this weight guy. Is it is he strong or does he lift? He's An strong. adjective would be that he's what, Raylan? So strong. Do you see that? My four-year-old just chose an adjective just by listening. She already caught on to that. Okay? And this is made for first through sixth grade. Let's see if she can do this one. There are four pieces of candy. Okay? Right here, Raylan, four pieces of candy. Okay? One, two, three, so we have to four. choose an adjective for it. So is it an adjective describes which one, what kind, or how many? How so many? are there Okay, so is there four or do we eat? One, two, three, four. So is your adjective four or eat? Four. Four. Very good. So my four-year-old is doing this. Not eat, but four. So she has just done the last two for you guys. Okay? So that is that one. All right. And then step two would be the next day. So this is step two the next day. All right? Same kind of thing. She gives you a little example, or she tells you what to do, and then she has questions, and you answer the questions, okay? And then you have your answers right on here, your solutions, okay? So she's having you highlight words in your stuff, so it's no writing for the child at all, okay? Then she has this fun little activity. It's a scavenger hunt to have the kids do. So see, it's so fun. Like all of this stuff is so fun. You want to show them? That's the scavenger hunt. So that week they're going to do this cool little adjective scavenger hunt. Okay, and then here's another activity, step three. They're going to check on their vocabulary. This is these and then notice at the end it says advanced guardians only. So these if your child is advanced enough and you feel they're ready for this, you can these have looks, them do this these, right. These looks like these looks like big puts pee. Yep, so if you feel they're advanced enough, you can have them do this. If you do not, you can definitely skip this. No problem. Okay? I and that is how it goes. And then I, you, <clears throat> I am almost done. Yes, honey. Then when you Finish, you get more official guardian mail. So you start your work for the week after you read your chapter with official, official mail telling them this is what you're going to do. And then you give them their work for the week. And then after they finish their work, they get new mail. Okay? And it's also Mission 25 update. New mail. And it's also in their workbook. And it says this. Dear trusted hardworking guardians, the adjectives are back. Oh, no. <laughs> we found them, and with your help, we knew right away who they were. We asked them questions like which one, what kind, and how many to be sure. Oh, now that we're able to use them again, Luke is going to get his communicator back. Ah. Uh, well, By the way, it's silver and rectangular. Well, it has well, rounded well, edges well, well, and two well, black... Well, 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 
and two black oval buttons on the side. That's a bunch of adjectives. We are attaching the solutions to the mission. Shh. Okay, shh. Sincerely, Kirk, Luke, and Ellen English, Guardians of the Grammar Galaxy. And then it has the little solutions, the answer key for you at the bottom. Okay, and then there's other answer key to all the work that your child completed that week. Okay? I wish we could go to Santa's workshop. It's not time for Santa. So that is all, guys. That is Grammar Seven, Galaxy. Children, minutes, kiss, and missy. So do you like the stories in Grammar Galaxy, Rayleigh? Yes. Are they fun? E. Do you like helping with the missions? E. Are you excited to do some this year for school? All right. That's it, guys. You have it. My four-year-old loves it. My eight-year-old does. He's just playing some games. And I think we might go for a swim. You want to go swimming? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so y'all have a great day. I hope that this is going to help. I'm going to eat candy plus before we go swimming. If there's any other questions you have, definitely hop on the Facebook group. Ask Melanie herself. She's phenomenal. She will definitely and answer you. Him. And give us a huge thumbs up. Yeah, give us a huge thumbs up below. We will be reviewing um, some master books tomorrow. I think yep. we're going to do... Social studies. Give us a huge thumbs up. So give us a huge thumbs up and hop over to our Facebook give us page. A huge thumbs up. See you later. Bye. Bye.